How's it going guys? We are back on the video here and this video is going to be breaking down week two trade in line event, the last week of this event, all the MSPs. This is the final batch of MSPs we're going to be getting this week and funny enough, if you guys watched my prediction video, I actually called two of these. I guess I'm smart. I don't know. Maybe sometimes. But I hope you guys do enjoy this video. If you do, make sure you do leave a like, subscribe if you have not already, and let's uh, let's hop into this video right now. All right. So there's a lot of actual info here that you need to notice. All right. So starting off first of all with the MSPs right here, you got the Anthony Manta, you got the Max Domi, Bill Guerin, Seth Jones, and finally Hampus Lindholm. So these are some excellent cards here. Some excellent, excellent cards here. I'm gonna go over everything you need to know about week two of this event, the final week of it. Uh, some really excellent cards, all right? You got some more trade online cards here. You got the Dimitri Orlov. These are all custom builds. So this is what kind of EA was talking about when they're going to do less content on Thursday. So they're going to have like more custom build guys like Orlov, Hathaway, and Smith. All right, and then we also have some more trade online cards. We got Patrick Kane. We got John Klingberg. We got Brock Besser, Jake McCabe, Luke Shen, Vimelka, James Van Riemsdyk, Matt Dumba, Sean Monahan, and Gustav Nyquist again. So how these guys work basically is if they do get traded, they will get a plus two overall. So Patrick Kane will be a 94, which I'm assuming he'll probably get traded. So probably be a 94 Kane in the end. All right. Uh, and then we got some other stuff here, that's just packs, 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 and this is community request cards. Nothing to do with the trade island event, but still a good card batch and release. And some more primetime cards. Again, more custom builds. They got a lot of custom build cards here. That's kind of the whole idea of drawing back and having less content released throughout Thursday and Monday. And then you have some other, th other stuff, and there you go. Okay. So objectives are remaining the same as well. I mean, that's the same. Objectives will be the same here. Nothing is uh, different about that. Same amount of objectives. Nothing is new. All right. Next up, though, uh, the challenges here. All right, we're going to look at the challenges here. And the challenges do remain uh, the same as well. I'm going to show you something about the daily challenges, though. Uh, but these are exactly the same, I believe. Group 2, just coins, 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 a seasonal collectible and an event collectible, and coins, three gold players, and an event collectible pack there as well. So uh, some good stuff there for sure. Some really, really good stuff, all right? There's some challenges. But anyway, the daily challenges, though, this is what's actually really good stuff. I didn't really mean to say good stuff for the last thing, but good stuff is what is here. So if you guys complete these five challenges here, okay? You can do all this, you do all that. You get a uh, mini actual player pack at the end. However, you actually unlock a new path of challenges that we have not seen quite yet in NHL 23 and it's called the ultimate challenges so basically what this is it's on rookie here it's to get a shutout take 18 shots on goal and score 16 goals it's actually not as hard as you'd think I could actually show you guys uh, a video on it maybe tomorrow like a, a quick video on how to do it really fast it's really not that hard honestly but coins a random 85 overall and then uh, this one is superstar so it's on superstar difficulty score four goals have two minutes time of attack and a maximum of two shots against a thousand coins and a power up collectible now that's pretty interesting right there so to me those are good challenges i like that i think it's a good idea for them to do that i mean hey listen the more stuff to play and to earn stuff i'm down 100 percent. i am down you definitely cannot uh complain at least in my eyes so i'm a big fan for sure all right moving on to the next thing now with this event here going to the packs here and the packs do remain very much similar and like the same as week one essentially all right so you got the uh the elite trade de deadline event booster pack here 30 items at least two 82 plus overall player items and a guarantee of 10 trade deadline event collectibles all right then you got the trade deadline event booster pack untradeable 15 items at least 10 player items and a guarantee of two trade deadline event collectibles so here's the odds as well uh, a6 plus is 22 percent 4% for a 90 plus, and then the odds for this pack uh, is 90 plus 2%, 86 plus is 11%. All right, and then you got the uh, premium traded line pack, week number two. So basically the same thing as week one, but just week two edition, 25 items and increase chance of pulling a 94 overall traded line MSP from week number two. Then you have the traded line starter pack, week number two, untradeable, 30 items, a random week two, 85 overall power MSP, and a guarantee of at least four 82 plus overall player items, untradeable. Those are the odds on it. Uh, 90 plus is 9.2%, 86 plus is 40%. Then you got the I Got Traded Again pack still out, 20 items, and a guarantee of at least 383 plus player items. So uh, 86 plus is 59%, 90 plus is 14%. And you got the My Teammate Got Traded Again pack, which is 25 items, at least 8 player items, and a guarantee of 780 plus overall items. Those are the odds, 90 plus. 3.8%, A6 plus is 17%. So those are the odds on that. And that's pretty much it for the all-star packs. Okay, next up now, uh, it is going to be the sets. And again, as I mentioned, pretty much in every event, the sets are very, very much so the same. All right, so here's what they are. 
uh, basically same as the last uh, MSP. So you basically trade in four trade in line collectibles uh, to get them at their 85 overall. Then you got to just keep trading in trade in line collectibles to finally fully boost them up to a 94 overall MSP. Okay, so that's how it's going to work. Uh, should be some exciting stuff to see there. Uh, but yeah, anyway, players pack set, it's three collectibles, just like how it always is. And then the prime pack set is also the two collectibles. And then this one is a, a MSP choice set, 85 overall, by the way. Uh, if you trade in three trade line collectibles, you got to power them up. But it's a random choice of one of two, so keep that in mind as well. And the collectible sets are exactly the same as well. All right, so let's look at the actual MSPs now for week number two. And I think, honestly, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I'm a fan. Uh, yeah, maybe they're not, you know, cracked. None of them are maybe, like, maybe endgame. But to me, the defensemen are very good, all right? I'm talking about the Lindholm and the Jones, all right? So here we are. And starting off with the first card here, we're going to talk about this Max Doma here. Where, if you like smaller players, this could be a really cracked card for you. 5'10", 194. He's a lefty, so more of a lefty winger here. He's got Workhorse and Distributor. Applesauce the Magician, Wingman here as well. You got Silver No Contest, Silver Truculence, Silver Wheels, Gold Elite Edges on him, 95 Excel, 98 Agility, 95 Balance, 93 Endurance, a shot's good, 93, 95, 93, and 95. So, heck of a shot on Max Domi here, no doubt about it. I'm a big fan of him. I really, really am. I mean, it's just, again, if, if you like smaller players, uh, I would say that Domi uh, is a good one for you guys, for sure. So, there you go. That's Domi. Uh, next guy up here is going to be Bill Guerin now. Bill Guerin here you got. Uh, he is 6'2", 220. He's a righty. He's got fly the zone. He's got buzzing, so you can have 93 speed on him. Uh, he's got Dangle City Magician, also distributor. So you can have 94 XL, uh, 93 speed with fly the zone. All right. So, I really, really, really like this Guerin card. If you need, like, a righty winger, I, I would say. I mean, that that's... I, I don't know. Like, I, I feel like people were kind of harsh on this card a little bit, but I think he's good. I do. I mean, his shots may not insane. He's a winger. He's strictly a right-handed winger, and I feel that, to me, this card, uh, it, it, it can be really good. So there you go. Bill Guerin, all right? Uh, moving on to the next card here is Seth Jones. Now, again, these defenseman cards are really intriguing to me. 6'4", 213 pounds, righty D-man here. He's got Distributor, Applesauce, Protector, well-rounded, and then buzzing. All right, so I'm a fan. I'm a fan for sure, guys. Uh, he's got silver, uh, heat seeker, silver David tape, silver one T, and goal sick him up. Uh, it's good. It's certainly not maybe on the level of this Lindholm card. And why do I say that? Because I like Lindholm's goal ability more. Uh, just to me, it's a little bit better. Just a little bit better. Again, Jones, they're right there. If you need a right-handed D-man, Jones is your guy. If you need a left-handed D-man, Lindholm's going to be your guy. But Jones is also a heck of a card, no doubt about it. All right. Uh, next up, we got this Lindholm card. And here's the Lindholm, guys. 6'4", 215 pounds, lefty D-man here. He's got Workhorse, Distributor, Wingman, and Buzzing. Gladiator is the other synergy. So you can get him up to 94 speed if you want. 94 speed, 94 Excel. I mean, that's a heck of a card, guys. It really is. Silver Tape of Tape, Silver Ice Pack, Silver Elite Edges, and then Gold Shutdown on Lindholm. So that's really, really good. It's an excellent card, in my opinion. He really is. 92 by checking, 98 defensive awareness on him, too. So Lindholm's a beauty for sure. I would say uh, maybe the best card from the whole event, maybe. And definitely, I'd say week two. But we'll we'll do a full rankings video on that tomorrow as well. You guys stay tuned for that. Then you got the Anthony Mantha, the big 6'5", left-handed winger forward. He he is 6'5", 234 pounds. He's a lefty. He's got Spark, Distributor, Light the Lamp, and Magician. Buzzing is the other synergy combination. He's got 91 Excel, 92 uh, Speed. Uh, he's a good card. He really is. Silver Puck and a String, Silver Big Rig, Silver Make It Snappy, and Gold Close Quarters. So uh, it's an excellent card. It, it really is an excellent card. Uh, I'm a fan for sure. I mean, this Anthony Mather card is excellent. I'm going to do my full rankings video on all these MSP cards and all that tomorrow. But hope you guys did enjoy this video. And let me know what you think of week two and what do you think of this whole event as a whole. If you guys did enjoy, make sure you please leave a like. Subscribe if you have not already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, and you get three E's. And join the Discord to talk to me, follow and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video.